Um, hello, my name is Carlotta Pasco. I represent the third generation of the Pasco family and I'm in charge uh, for the public relations of the company. Pasco is a family-run business since uh, 1925. It was established in Verona. Um, the core business of the family is uh, the production of uh, Amarone and Valpolicella. So, uh, vineyards are located basically in uh, the heart of Valpolicella Classico and for the majority on the Valpantena area, which is the northeast uh, area of uh, Verona for uh, a total of around uh, 800 hectares of uh, vineyards owned by, by the family. Uh, today uh, we are uh, here presenting uh, Amarone Tare dei Cariano uh, Cecilia Beretta and Amarone Villa Borghetti Pasqua. They are both coming from the Valpolicella Classico area uh, but they are quite different in, uh, in style. Villa Borghetti is much more uh, modern style, very uh, booty and be uh, enjoy uh, a bit earlier compared to Tare di Cariano. Tare di Cariano is the Amar uh, highest uh, quality uh, Amarone but very uh, elegant, complex uh, and Amarone uh, uh, very close uh, to uh, tradition, can evolve uh, for many many years. They both have uh, three uh, months of uh, appassimento of the grapes so we dry the grapes for uh, three months before uh, vinificate the wine uh, and then uh, Cecilia Beretta has uh, uh, around uh, two years of uh, aging in barrels and nearly uh, 18 months for the uh, Villa Borghetti usually we prefer to um, to mix to combine uh, oak barrels with cherry oak Cherry because it's much more uh, typical of the area of Verona and it has um, similar aromas to the uh, Corvina or Valpolicella grapes. Grapes are nearly the same plus uh, 5% Oseletta for the Terre di Cariano. Oseletta is a um, very old uh, uh, Veronese variety, very rich, very concentrated, so a, a small percentage gives the Amarone a, a very uh, powerful uh, character. Production um, of the Terre di Cariano is about 20,000 bottles, so just a small amount of bottles, uh, while for the Villa Borghetti is around 80 thousand uh, bottle per year. Talking about matching wine and food, I would suggest to um, remain with the uh, Veronese uh, uh, tradition. So, um, for example, I would like to match uh, or to, uh, to serve Amarone with some uh, uh, tasty risotto, like risotto with Amarone or uh, uh, tagliolini with um, uh, lepre or duck ragu, or uh, why not with uh, some savory uh, meat dishes like uh, bolliti, uh, like roasted uh, meat, or with a seasoned cheese, like uh, Monteveronese or uh, Asiago or Cimbri, um, also for, uh, from the area of Verona.